Subway is the latest fast food chain to change its menus to make food safer. Customers can now order sandwiches made with chickens raised without antibiotics. The switch is prompted by warnings about how antibiotics used in livestock can affect people. CBS News contributor Dana Jacobson shows us why consumer advocates are praising the move. Dana, good morning. Good morning. Subway's antibiotic-free chicken is the first step in what the fast food giant says will eventually lead the restaurant to serve only antibiotic-free meat. Other changes and other chains that are vowing to take similar steps include Wendy's, McDonald's, and most recently, In-N-Out. Treat your body right with the delicious rotisserie-style chicken sandwich from Subway. Bowing to consumer pressure for greater transparency about the food they eat, on Tuesday, Subway began selling sandwiches made with chicken raised without antibiotics. By 2025, the chain says all the meat across its 30,000 North American restaurants will be antibiotic-free. This is definitely not a fad. This is Jean Halloran, director of food policy initiatives at Consumers Union, welcomes the change. This is a problem that's been brewing for decades and is getting seriously worse. Is there any danger to consumers from meat that doesn't have antibiotics in it? Absolutely none. The danger isn't the antibiotics themselves, but rather the superbugs that evolved to resist the antibiotics being used by large factory farms. Those drug-resistant germs then enter the food supply. According to the CDC, 23,000 people die from superbugs every year. We're at the beginning of a potential catastrophe. Even a simple cut could become infected and have a, a deadly staph infection. In September, Halloran worked on a report grading 25 fast food chains on the use of antibiotics in their meat. Only Panera, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, and Dunkin' Donuts received passing grades. Yes, 93. Last week, In-N-Out Burger said it's looking to phase out antibiotics from its meat supply, but didn't specify a timeline. Wendy's says it's offering antibiotic-free grilled chicken sandwiches in four test markets. Farmers use antibiotics to keep their livestock healthy. But Wall Street Journal reporter Jacob Bungie says the restaurants may eventually force their hand. They will turn to their chicken suppliers, to their pork suppliers, and say, we need you to give us meat that has been raised without antibiotics. The price of these meals probably will not go up much, if at all. They seem to be making changes uh, without having price increases to the consumer. The CDC says one in five drug-resistant infections is caused by germs from food or animals. And it's not just restaurants that are switching over. Meat companies are getting into the act as well. Purdue says more than half of the chickens it sells are raised without any antibiotics. That's going to transform the food industry. Yeah, and it has sort of already. They're already talking about the human antibiotics. Purdue, 95 percent of the chickens that it raises does not get human antibiotics already. Really good story. Dana, thank you thank so you. much.